Hi, I'm Jeff. And I'm Regina. We want to tell you today about Mayberry Campground in Mount Airy, or in Mayberry, whatever they call it. They call it both, yeah. North Carolina. Yeah, we we uh, stayed at this place, Mayberry Campground, and it was a great place. Huge park, um, nice big spaces. Uh, the people were fantastic there. It was just one of those places that we wish we had stayed two weeks, four weeks. <laughs> yes. Um, not, um, th there's not a ton to do in the area outside of Mayberry stuff, and then there's hiking. So it's just kind of a place where you could go and not be um, running constantly. You could play games as a family. You could enjoy just the surrounding area and stuff. And we really enjoyed going into Mount Airy, uh, which we before we went to Mount Airy, what did we do? We watched Andy Griffith episodes, starting with episode one, season one, from the very beginning. They were free on Amazon Prime. Um, as we're recording this video, we checked like two days ago, and it's not free anymore. So hopefully we'll get back on the rotation because watching Andy Griffith as adults with our kids just brought back this, I don't know, the sense of like simpler times. And it was refreshing and it was, the kids absolutely loved it, walking around talking like Andy Griffith <laughs> and um, calling Sawyer Opie. And it was just, I don't it was really neat. It brought the area just to life for the kids in a way that, I mean, if we hadn't watched it, they still would have enjoyed their time, obviously. But it brought just all those those little things from the episodes of who is Barney Fife and who is Andy and Opie and um, Barber, um, Walker Soda Fountain and the Barber. I forgot Barber. Floyd. Floyd the Barber. All those things. Um, the kids were just found really fun and could relate yeah, to I, it. I was surprised at how much they enjoyed the show. We were we had talked about it probably months before. We were like, oh, before we go to Mount Airy, we should watch Andy Griffith and I was like yeah you know I grew up watching Andy Griffith I was not only surprised that they liked it so much I was surprised that I liked it so much watching it as an adult and that, it was a lot of fun we watched quite a few episodes together uh before and after we were in in Mount Airy before um we have to pay for it <laughs> <laughs> but yeah Main Street was really cool uh there were some cool antique shops there was like soda shops um in one of the antique shops, we found this uh, turnstile with a bunch of historic antique postcards, and they were selling for like 25 cents a piece. And so Regina went through and uh, went through hundreds of them and picked out some of either destinations that um, were relevant to people that we knew, where they grew up or had visited, or places that we had visited or were visiting. Like we found some of uh, Asheville, which was a future destination for us. And uh, they were really cool. They were probably, I'm guessing, 50, 60 year old postcards. And uh, so that was a steal. I think even more. I think some of them were dated in the 40s or 50s, Wow. I think. So it was really neat. So a lot of that kind of stuff around there. Um, also, if you do like the Andy Griffith stuff, you can take a historical tour in a cop car. Um, actually from the mechanic shop. I don't know why his name is leaving me, the mechanic. Ah, it just left me. So um, I should have had notes written down. Um, <laughs> but also you can um, do that. There's also the Andy Griffith Museum. That did cost money. It wasn't expensive, but um, one of our things we like to do when we travel is we do try to um, find things on a budget with a large family that we can do and still have an amazing time without breaking the bank. So the Andy Griffith Museum, I would say, would probably be great. We just didn't make it in there. Um, next to where the historic cop car tours leave from, there is um, a little building you can walk in, and it's the um, Justice of the Peace, I think is what it's called, right? Is that right? Did I say uh, that right? Yeah, probably. Yeah, and so it's like Andy Griffith's, it's his desk and a couple of gel cells. So like Otis's gel cell was all set up like it was, you know, his picture on the wall. So that's yeah. just that's free just to walk in. Um, yeah, the, the show was not filmed there. I think it was filmed in, in Hollywood or someplace in California. Um, but I think that's where Andy Griffith was from originally. And when you watch the show, they make references to locations that are within uh, Mount Airy area. Like they mentioned uh, Mount Pilot and yes. they mentioned um, one of the places across in, uh, in Virginia because it's really close to the Virginia line uh on on a couple of the episodes so they they were authentic in the geography when they were talking about that area and uh we ended up going on hikes nearby they were both about i think 45 minutes away 30 45 minutes away yeah maybe 30 i think stone mountain was closer than 
Pilot Mountain? Vice versa. I, I think it was vice versa. Vice versa. Yeah, so we went to Pilot Mountain on a weekend, and it's really pretty. There's some great trails. Uh, a lot you, of trails. You can't drive up there um, after a certain time. Or it's maybe only it's on, on the weekends. weekends. On the weekends and holidays, you can't drive to the summit yourself. Um, they provide a shuttle service, but they only sell so many tickets a day. Yeah. We got there about 2 o'clock, and tickets were gone. So um, I would definitely say if you're going to go, go during the week or get there early on a weekend. Um, the shuttle has a small fee, and I think it's only adults, not children, that they charge for. Hmm. Um, but we just did a hike at the bottom of the mountain, and it's it's really pretty. Yeah, there's there's lots of hiking options there. It's a unique looking mountain. If you've never seen it, maybe we'll try to get a picture in here. But um, sadly, like a few weeks after we were there, there's a big fire and yeah. uh, thousands of acres burned, I believe. So that's that's a shame. Uh, the other big area that we loved going on a day trip to was Stone Mountain. <gasps> Not Stone no. Mountain, Georgia, no. Stone Mountain, North Carolina. Yes. And it is such a cool uh, hike. Uh, up, uh, another one that the kids really loved. Um, you come out through the woods and there's the big, huge rock outcroppings that just go down the whole slope of the mountain and you can climb up and down them. Um, I mean, I don't know whether it was lava flows or just who knows. It was it was really cool. Really, really neat. It was a pretty decent hike, too. Um, yeah, it was. If I can... Find up, find the information on the length um, of the hike. I can put it on here, but it it was a it was a pretty lengthy hike. We were, I mean, it was a few hours, I yeah. would say, and we spent a lot of time at the summit, just laying on the rocks. And at one point, we laid on the rocks. We knew we weren't at the summit. We thought we were a little closer than we were, though, so we kind of sprawled out there. But we had snacks at the top, and um, the leaves were absolutely beautiful. Really, really yellow. Yeah, yeah, some really fantastic. Um photo opportunities and, and um, panoramic views from high up. Yeah, it's definitely worth going up and, and hiking that if you get a chance. Um, other than that, uh, the campground where we stayed, there was some interesting history there, yes. which you're probably a little bit better able to speak to about the twins. Yes, so we did not go see their um, where they're buried, but the infamous um, Siamese twins, um, Chang and Ng, um, they are from there. Like the, where the campground is, is their family's property. It was their family's farm. There is a lot of really neat history. Um, since it's been a little bit since we were in Mount Airy, I don't want to do um, their family line a disservice by speaking incorrectly. So um, I will maybe try to find um, a link or some way that I can um, link, to the, link you to the information, but it's really interesting. And one of the girls that I talked to at the campground, she's actually from that from that family line and yeah, so cool. it's just really neat um they have a church right there that we could see from the campground we just we just didn't make it over there but um it's just where they're buried i think yes it's where yeah. they're buried and i think they also donated that church um to the town and to the area so I yeah it's know, a fascinating it's just... story and and hopefully you get a chance to look into it a little bit but they had between them had many children and lots of grandchildren and other you know the descendants like Regina mentioned uh some of them are still involved with with the operation of the that property there so uh Mayberry campground fantastic the rates were great yes. um it's just a very clean and nice setting but you know big a lot of them are pretty big sites a lot of pull throughs we were in a back end but it was one of the easiest oh. back ends you can imagine and uh yeah, it was. We we definitely would love to go back there and spend some more time because it was a uh, it was a really nice experience. It was so. Hopefully, you'll get to check out Mount Airy, or Mayberry Campground, or at least the area through there with Stone Mountain and Pilot Mountain. Yep. See you on our next adventure. See ya.